Just give yourself up, Bouncer. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. Doing here. Give yourself up, outsider. There's no way out of there. It's the minister of the church. He's been away. hung up and disemboweled as some sort of obscene spectacle. It's happening to me. I'm gonna die. Open these doors, no. outsider! It must be intended as a warning to the Christians of Innsmouth. It's the minister of the church. He's been hung up and disemboweled as some sort of obscene spectacle. You're trapped. There's no place. There's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. If you're willing to come out now. We'll not gut the gal's carcass. Give yourself There's up. There's no outsider. point going back There's that no way. There's no way out of there. You can't get away. I should let the bell finish ringing first. Open these doors, outsider! Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. They all appear to be volumes on the history of Innsmouth. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. It's no use. I don't know the combination. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, Aged 27. A decaying corpse. I'm sure it's bad luck to be disturbing the dead. 
It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 18... Nothing but stones. I wonder what happened to the body. It's the coffin of D. Slocum, who died in 1852, aged 27. A small memorial to an old priest. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. It's the coffin of S. Lawrence, born 1789 and died in 1826. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside down cross. All these books are covered in dust and cobwebs. They haven't been studied for some time. The numbers seem to be random. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The safe holds a stone cross. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times.
ocean roars tonight. Yes, Dagon stirs. Maybe he'll rise soon. He'll have to come out sometime. Doesn't matter. There's only one way out of the church. He's trapped and can't get away. Some of the planks look weak. I'd better watch my step. Spread out! Search the area! Spread out! Search the area! Oh! <sighs> 
chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. Search the area! The radiator's cold. Spell out! Search the area! Spread out! Search the area! Search the area. Spread out. 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 Kill him. Search the area. Spread out. Search the area. Spread out! Touch the area! grandfather clock. It stopped Spread ticking. Out. Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? Search the area. You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. It won't open. Decorative vases and bowls. All of them empty.
won't open. What was that? Brian Burke, the door's bolted shut. The door's bolted shut. Back here would be a great hiding spot. Back here would be a great hiding spot. A wanted poster for Brian Burnham. <laughs> I will not do as you ask. <laughs> Never. Some of the bars are damaged. But it's still sturdy. Who's there? I can hear you. Shh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the variety store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the place is where I run my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off me before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Mart's mom are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy. Much more than usual. I remember Henry. Henry, they called me. My father called me Henry. My real father. No! I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. <laughs> Don't move, outsider! What now? Get away! There's nobody here. I heard the 
Ten shotguns at last. A police whistle hmm. could prove useful. It's locked. They're gonna find you, Jack. And the order shows no mercy. It's locked. I cannot, Cthulhu. I... It's locked. I... Restlessly Brian, sleeps where do they keep the keys? I... Why should I trust you? I... What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. I don't trust you. Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. Oh, damn. I've been so foolish. I'm sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Where are the keys to the cells? They'll be upstairs with Andrew Martin, the chief constable. He's usually a sleeper in the bath around this time. His skin's badly diseased from the Innsmouth taint. Keeping it wet seems to help his suffering. It's warm. Heart deep in the abyss, beyond the reef of Satan that lies. Why on this lay? Deep one. It's locked. <laughs> Messing with the alarm would be too risky. <laughs> I don't think I should use that right now. to the cells. Now I can free Brian. The sink is grimy and there are traces of some sort of discolored membrane. The fire is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. is encrusted with filth and there appears to be shreds of skin. The sink has been blocked up, leaving it full of scummy water. I'm not touching it. It won't open. It's unlocked. An old ship's log, marked with the name Obed Marsh. Why on it lay? It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear of town. Should be able to? 
If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. I, uh, dig on. I, uh, Hydra. Quickly, we have to get away from the jail. Prisoner has escaped! Shit! They've spotted us! Run! Shoot him! Don't move! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! 